So there's been nearly 4,000 anti-Asian attacks uh, within the last year. And uh, one just recently happened on Tuesday. This story is not surprising. Because of the person that was in charge and the individuals who continue to support and rehash the disgusting, awful words that this individual puts out in the world. 8 people are dead because there's a party that is anti everything that's not them. There's a party that's led by idiots and morons who care nothing about other individuals that don't look like them. It's disgusting and it's gross. When we blame people because of mistakes we've made, it pisses me off that there's a group of people that blame Asian Americans for where we are. We are where we are because the leader you chose gave us misinformation and you decided not to go and research the actual facts, you decided to go along with his idiocy and not follow the rules and not wear masks. And now you're all anti-vaxxers. You don't even wanna get the vaccine that's supposed to help all of us. You are the reason why this virus continues. Because everything that's logical, you're against. It's not the Asian people in which you blame, in which you attack, in which you kill. It's you. You are to blame for this. You are weak people who blame everyone but yourself. Constantly do that. You blame everyone else. It's always everyone else's fault instead of yours. This whole situation is a collective fault. It is not one race's fault. It's not one people's fault. It's a collective. Blacks, white, all. Everyone who decided that they want to party instead of staying at home. Everyone who decided they'd rather go and, 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 and fucking uh, uh, do club appearances. Those are the people to blame for where we are right now. Not Asian Americans. Americans as a whole. America's in the shithole because you're all acting like kids. And, and not even fucking some your bratty ass kids who, who don't even want to hear that they're doing wrong. You're idiots who believe everything you fucking do is in the right, even though it's in the wrong, and then you just blame other race and other people for your fucking woes instead of taking responsibility, instead of fucking looking at the people that you voted for and calling them out for being asshole racists. It is not right and it's not okay. This whole situation is just so disgusting to me. And then the people who are supposed to uphold the law, for instance, Mr. Captain J. Baker, comes out in the press conference when you're supposed to give information and says this. Yeah, let me go into a little bit of detail. So the suspect did uh, take responsibility for the shootings. Um, he uh, said that early on once we began the interviews with him. Um, he claims that these, and as the chief said, we know this is still early, but he does claim that it was not racially motivated. He apparently has an issue, uh, what he considers a, a, a sex fiction, and sees these locations as something that allows him to, to um, to go to these places and, and it's a temptation for him that he wanted to eliminate. Sure, could you just 
necessity understood was the, the gravity wasn't there. Um, when I, when we, I spoke with investigators, they interviewed him this morning, and I, uh, they got that impression that yes, he, he understood um, the gravity of it, and he was pretty much fed up and kind of at the end of his rope, and uh, and yesterday was a really bad day for him, and this is what he did. Remorseful? Uh, I'm not going to go to, I don't, I don't know if he was remorseful or not. Yeah. Captain J. Baker. Very typical to me. Very typical to a lot of of the police in this country. Surprising fact, or maybe not so surprising fact about Mr. Captain J. Baker. Captain J. Baker promoted merchandise that demonized the Asian community. Take a look. Look at that. That's from his Twitter. Captain. Someone who's supposed to be in charge, someone that the other officers are supposed to look up to. He's supposed to be in command. And that's what he thinks about Asian people. Minority groups can't continually be policed by people who hate them, who don't believe that they're humans and don't believe that their life is worthy. We need to go through all of the police system and remove people like Captain J. Baker from power. You might not agree his cool, um, one of a kind. Time to move forward.